Hello again, Internet. It's day six of my life post back surgery with zero extra hours of PA support from the HSE. A decision made by the manager of the Northwest Physical and Sensory Disability Services, Joanna McMorrow. Um, this evening I got my kind of main PA to do a two hour shift because my total hours are 15. That's been divided up into one hour in the morning, one hour in the early evening. But of course that's two hours per day, total of 14 per week, so I have an extra hour woo-hoo to play with. So my main PA did two hours this evening and that enabled me to get my hair washed and to have a body wash as well and she was also making my dinner um didn't have time to do the hoovering so there's one thing that hasn't happened this week just reflecting on the way that these hours have been rearranged previously they were arranged so that i had 40 minutes in the mornings and that was six mornings a week not seven the reason it was six mornings a week is because it is illegal for one person to work seven days all the way through without a break. And I previously only had one PA doing all the morning stuff and so she couldn't work seven days a week. So I made sure that there was a day off, even though that left me without support for one day in the week. So that 40 minutes, six days a week is now... 60 minutes seven days a week the thing is though that while my pa in the morning was being paid for 40 minutes in the morning she invariably stayed for an hour because that was just how long it took to do the things that i needed her to do so the difference is that my morning pas are now getting paid for the work that they're doing and my main pa has lost hours, hugely increased expense of having to travel here from another town, six days a week, again, forced her to take a day off. Um, and yeah, so now she can do less, I get less, and she's paid less and it costs more. I'm helping out with the transport costs because otherwise it is financially not worth her while to work for me at all. And I've lost many really good PAs down the years because I haven't been able to give them the number of hours that would make it pay for them to do that work. The people who have the time to do the work, very often they're on dole or other benefits. And so as soon as they start working, they start losing benefits. And of course, the people who, who can afford uh, the money element don't necessarily have the time. So there's this constant bind whereby people with disabilities, we're not getting enough support. You know, 15 hours was not sufficient for me prior to my surgery, let alone during the recovery period. And the people who want to do the work couldn't afford to do the work because they just got penalised by a system that is entirely focused on people doing full-time nine-to-five jobs and no appreciation of jobs that can only be done part-time. So it's just a completely vicious circle of nobody getting what they need. There's, you know, insufficient employment, insufficient support, insufficient funding, and that means can't contribute to the economy. You know, this is not the stuff that I want to be putting out on my social media. What I want to be putting out on my social media is promotion for the work that I actually do when I have the spoons and the energy and not have to fight this bloody battle every single bloody day. I write. I've written one play that I then couldn't tour because I couldn't get the funding to pay for transport and accommodation, which are always more expensive uh, when you have disabilities. Um, you know, I, I wanted to be working on my second play this year, but all of this has disrupted that massively. 
um, I haven't worked on the story archaeology site for a year and a half, more or less. Um, that's the stuff that I want to be out there in the world, not this stuff. You know, what I could do had I sufficient support. I could by now have been qualified as a humanist celebrant, which again, I was going down the road of training, but without my own transport, I could not see how it was possible. So I'm not able to go out there in the world, make the contribution for which I'm qualified um, in personal and educational ways. Um, I can't even get out of my house to, you know, spend the money that the government gives me. If you don't give us enough money to leave the house, if you don't give us the wherewithal to be out and in our communities, then we are exactly what you make us, which is a net drain on society. And that is not what we want. We are deeply frustrated at being prevented from doing our part being contributors. So it's more of a political rant this evening, I know that. But sometimes I think sometimes you can only deal with a personal problem by making it political. And that's absolutely the case for me right now. I can't help but to see this in the bigger picture. I can't help but to see it in the wider context and in the longer term because it's my life and I have been fighting this battle for a very, very long time. So I'm just hoping that the kind of crisis that I've been brought to by this complete lack of care, lack of support, can actually raise the point and hopefully make a change can't do it without all of you people of course and I'm not the only person in this situation I know I'm not yeah it's just it has to change can't continue like this